This is All India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Arunachal Pradesh Governor Brigadier Retired Dr. B.D. Mishra has called for more efficiency in the state government work and stressed on filling up of vacant posts. During a meeting with Chief Minister Pema Khandu at Raj Bhavan in Itanagar, Mishra said that the Arunachal Pradesh Public Service Commission must work tirelessly for flawless conduct of examinations for all state-level vacancies. The Governor was suggesting for expediting road projects and emphasized on the need for preserving the Namdapa Tiger Reserve in Changlang District. Dr. Mishra advocated for timely allocation of necessary funds for the developmental work to, be cons to the concerned departments so that the last-minute rush of release of funds at the close of the financial year is obviated. Suggesting for strong mechanism to prevent leakage of allocated public money, the Governor suggested that the State Public Accounts Committee must have regular meetings with the departments and bring in a marked improvement in the situation. Mizoram Assembly has revoked an act that was enacted to recognize rights of forest land of tribal people traditionally living in jungles, saying it is not relevant in the state. The Scheduled Tribe and Other Traditional Forest Dwellers Recognition of Forest Rights Act 2006 was repealed by unanimously adopting an official resolution moved by Social Welfare Minister Dr. K. Bai Chua. This act was made applicable to Mizoram by an official resolution passed by the State Assembly on October 29, 2009, when the state was under the Congress rule at that time. Bechua, a minister in the Mizo National Front Government, said that the act has no relevance in the state. Normal life was affected in Nagaland yesterday evening following an 18-hour bunth called by two organizations against the proposed tabling of the Citizenship Amendment Bill. The bunth called by the Northeast Forum for Indigenous People and Joint Committee on Prevention of Illegal Immigrants began at 6 p.m. and will end at 12 noon today. Shops in the state that normally remain open till late at night downed shutters at 6 p.m., official sources said. However, the movement of vehicles was normal. There is no report of any untoward incident from any quarters, the sources said. A day after protests were held in the northeastern states against the proposed citizenship amendment bill, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma said discussions are taking place to address concerns of the people about the legislation. He said, the state government is looking for a positive response from the centre to address the issues raised by the people. Right now, there are a lot of discussions and consultations taking place. The CAB was passed by the Lok Sabha on January 8 this year, but was not tabled in Rajya Sabha and has lapsed. It seeks to provide Indian citizenship to Hindus, Jains, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists and Parsis from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan after seven years of residence in India, even if they do not possess any document. In Assam, the Satra Mukti Sangram Samiti, the students' wing of the KMSS, yesterday evening brought out torchlight procession across the state against the proposed citizenship amendment bill. SMSS President Bitu Sonowal said, protest against the controversial bill will continue till the central government fully withdraws the document. Thousands of students marched through the main streets in nearly 10 towns across the state and shouted slogans against the bill, the centre and the state government. The Guwahati University unit of SMSS took out a symbolic funeral procession of Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal over his silence on the bill. And Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Kisangma yesterday inaugurated the Meghalaya National Games Outreach Summit, speaking on various CSR projects, funding and investments for the better impacts of Meghalaya sports. The Chief Minister Conrad Sangma said that Meghalaya and Northeast in general has always been a region that produced excellent sportspersons. He said that it is the endeavour and goal of the government to nurture these talents and added that this summit is one of the ways towards achieving this goal by bringing all stakeholders together. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.